Paris has a big problem. The City of Light is renowned for its romantic charm and cultural allure, but it has a less glamorous reality, its transportation system. But did you know that a $36 billion mega project is on the way to solve this crisis? What could this be and can this actually make a difference? Stay tuned to find out. Paris faces a challenge due to its relatively compact size of 105 square kilometers and a population of approximately 2 million citizens. Within this area, residents have the convenience of navigating by bicycle or utilizing the extensive subway system to reach any destination. However, Paris is also the focal point of a much larger region known as the Paris region or Ile-de-France, spanning 12,000 square kilometers and accommodating an additional 10.2 million residents. The issue arises from the need for individuals within this greater Paris area to access other parts of the region using public transportation. This typically involves a combination of buses and the subway, demanding passage through central Paris. Because of this, the region as a whole heavily relies on cars, making the subway system largely impractical for around 6 million residents. The inefficiency stems from the considerable time required to travel from north to south or east to west, as commuters must first travel to the center of Paris to transfer to another train to get to their destination. As a result of Paris' transportation problem, the city has planned to expand its current subway network by twofold through the implementation of the Grand Paris Express Mega Project, a huge construction with a budget of $36 billion. Dubbed as one of Europe's most iconic ongoing transportation plans, this project will address Paris's public transport problems by improving the subway network's coverage and efficiency. But what exactly is the Grand Paris Express? How will it fix Paris's transportation issues, and what are the details of its construction process? In 2010, the regional authorities of Paris established a publicly owned agency named the Société du Grand Paris to manage the implementation of the Grand Paris Express project. The primary task of this organization is to oversee the planning, development, and construction of 200 kilometers of track across four new fully automated subway lines designated as Lines 15, 16, 17, and 18. The initiative also includes extending Lines 11 and 14, as well as constructing 68 new stations and creating seven technical centers. 90% of these lines are located underground, reaching depths exceeding 52 meters, while the remaining 10% run at ground level. Now that's quite deep. Since the start of its construction, the agency has segmented the development of the new network into various packages, giving out contracts to many companies that happen through the use of BIM technology. At first, the projected cost was calculated to be approximately 90 billion euro. But by 2023, budget overruns and additional improvements to the project increased the final cost to around 36 billion euro. The very first phase of the wide and thrilling new network, involving the extension of Line 14, is set to operate just in time for the Paris Olympics scheduled for July 2024. Additionally, the rest of the network is still being built in incremental stages and will soon be open to the public. The realization of the entire network is expected to unfold progressively, with all lines assumed to be fully operational by 2030. As we said earlier, the Paris region, also known as Ile de France, stands as the most populated among the 18 regions of France, having an official estimated population of approximately 12.3 million. At its center lies the French capital Paris, which is composed of eight administrative departments. Paris, Esson, Haute-de-Seine, Seine-et-Marne, Seine-Saint-Denis, Val-de-Marne, Val-d'Oise, and Yvelines. After the Grand Paris Express network is completed, not only will the existing Paris Metro expand in size, but every administrative department will also be seamlessly linked through a compact public transit network. This transformative infrastructure will eradicate the need for millions of residents to go through the crowded Paris city center, opening a new era of accessibility and connectivity for the entire Ile-de-France region. The project will also revolutionize travel within the Paris region by offering fast and efficient transportation, offering easy access to city attractions and amenities. This huge upgrade is expected to build a happier and more socially connected community. Another major objective of the project is to address the socio-economic separations within Paris, particularly by fixing the inequality between the economically challenged eastern parts and the rich western areas of the city. Also, 
By lowering the reliance on cars, the mega project will greatly reduce carbon emissions, which is instrumental in the mitigation of millions of tons of CO2 emissions. Now, let's take a deeper look at the project. It covers a few key components which will enhance transportation infrastructure within the Paris region. This includes stretching the existing Line 14 of the Paris Metro towards both the northern and southern directions, as well as the creation of four entirely new lines, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Every station within this expansive network is drafted to showcase iconic architectural elements, emphasizing aesthetics and functionality. However, a big emphasis is placed on securing the commuter's comfort and convenience. To make this happen, seamless connectivity is built with existing transportation networks, such as the RER or the Riso Express, Regional Regional Tram, other metro lines and bus stations. Many stations are also designed with retail outlets and various services to upgrade the overall commuting experience. Exclusive, secure parking facilities are also offered for both bicycles and cars, encouraging other modes of transportation and lowering reliance on private vehicles. The initiative to start the project with the extension of Line 14 is rooted from its crucial role as the backbone of the whole transportation network. Extending Line 14 towards its northern and southern endpoints is important due to the urgent necessity to bolster the network's capacity and reach. The extension of Line 14 encompasses a nearly 6-kilometer-long tunnel that became functional in 2020, featuring four new stations, Saint-Lazare, Pont Cardinet, Porte de Clichy, and Mairie de Saint-Ouen. By 2024, the Line 14 South Extension will span a 14-kilometer-long tunnel from Olympiades to Orly Airport, incorporating seven new stations. The Line 15, extending over 75 kilometers, will serve as a crucial metro loop encircling Paris. It is subdivided into east, west, and south sections, with construction commencing in 2016. Moving on to the Grand Paris Line 16, it stretches over 46.67 kilometers and features 10 stations, connecting saint plaile to Noisy Champs. Line 17, measuring 26.5 kilometers, encompasses nine metro stations between saint plaile and Le Bourget Airport, serving 13 municipalities along its north and south sections. Lastly, Line 18 spans 35 kilometers and incorporates both underground and elevated tracks, covering approximately 13 kilometers of ground-level tracks. The Grand Paris Express project guarantees to revolutionize transportation, improving connectivity, accessibility, and quality of life. With enhanced metro infrastructure and extended coverage, residents will have reduced travel times, lowered congestion, and increased mobility. Well, that's about it for today's video. Let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Do consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.